the scrap yard run action for you i have got some of this and some of that got some decent stuff in here gonna scrap this uh someone in the comments said this was an umbrella stand this big brass piece that's probably worth more than taking it to the scrap yard but oh well got some nice number one wire we've got some copper some brass some more copper some aluminum some of this some of that I will take this to the yard and I'll spray it out put it in buckets and uh, if you're not real look at that that's some nice stuff right there if you're not real experienced this will be a good video to watch to get a feel for how to take stuff to the scrapyard um generally you'd want to do it here and you know of course separate it a little bit and throw it in the back of your truck or your car trunk or something but uh, i'm just gonna take it in like this and sort it out when i get there but uh this that stuff right there is strippable uh if you're gonna be dealing with a lot of this kind of stuff you would want to get a nice little wire stripper because that definitely is more valuable i don't have a whole lot of it so it's not a huge difference but you know if you're going to have more than 10 pounds or whatever you know or whatever whatever's worth your while and it's all worth your while but, but uh, it's, it's going to depend also on some scrap yards might actually give you a, a much higher price than the number one insulated but uh Anyways, that is definitely the kind you can strip. Not so much this red stuff. Uh, this black stuff has got a nice, nice amount. That would be something you could run through a stripper. That would be definitely worth it. Green stuff is a little less worth it. That's pretty good stuff too, though. But anyways, let's get to the scrapyard. this out experienced scrappers out there no that's supposed to be brass it's actually aluminum <coughs> haven't seen too many aluminum ones of those all right this I guess I just don't have the heart to scrap that <laughs> I'm gonna clean that up I might use that for myself Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I'm going to use that for myself. It's an umbrella deal. At least that's what they were saying in the comments. Let's see. I need, to, I need to take out a couple of dents. There's a deal here that pulls up. I guess to catch the water, I guess. I'm not totally convinced it's an umbrella stand. It does, it does look like that's what it'd be for, but anyways, let's get to this. Some aluminum cans. This is some number one insulated copper wire. See the high content of copper in there? They call that number one insulated. This red stuff is pretty good. I'm pretty sure that'll go with number one. This is number two insulated copper. This is like uh, cords off of stereos and TVs and vacuum cleaners and whatnot, that kind of stuff. Lawnmower blades, we'll go with short steel. 
anything under three feet long all metal all steel they call short steel here this is going to be a bucket of aluminum these faucets are aluminum deal off a grill this is like the frame of a bulletin board type deal dry erase marker board it's a towel rack it looks like we think and over here got an electric motor this my box yeah i'm still this one Put the light aluminum in here? Yep. Or uh, brake, uh, brake kits, I mean? Yeah. Brake kits. Garbage disposal and motors? Yeah. Garbage yeah. disposal, skills, aluminum, brake kits. Hey, you want me to take the plastic off there? No, that would be all right. This three, I got three of them, that's all right. Yeah. Electric motors going in there. Be careful the bottom of that don't fall out. So you want to use that box? Yeah. Hey, you want just with just with a tin or what? I just got one tin. Put it in your bag. Yeah. Got this little jack. You know what? This in the tin shed, don't you? Short steel. Short steel. Just some breakers here. And then uh, this is a piece of aluminum, big old aluminum conduit. I want to squish the stink bug. Got it, dude. There it goes. <laughs> stink bugs are pretty good flyers, you know that? Okay, so we'll make this our aluminum bucket, I guess. Hey, is that red stuff good enough for number one uh, yep. insulator? Yeah, that stuff, some of that other stuff there is all right too. Yeah, the green stuff? Yeah, a little bit of that green. Yeah, that's all right. That's no way, no way, hold on. Are you going up to the front scale? Yeah, I got you. Ooh, front scale action today. It's just little tiny bits of stuff like that. They don't weigh, it doesn't really matter. I suppose, uh, yeah. I'll get them out of there. <laughs> this copper bucket, I should have cleaned this up a little bit. I should have put the uh, utility cable cutters to this stuff. So, a piece like this. Okay, so this is the difference between number one copper here and number two copper here. Number two copper will have like welds or uh, soldering. Or it's got some kind of coating. See how that copper's got a silver coat on it. And it's got some, some uh, corrosion or whatever you want to call it. So number two copper is just basically anything that's got a little bit of gunk. And then number one copper, just a nice clean piece like that. 
it's uh i think 10 15 cents a pound difference it's not that big of a deal but if you got a bunch of it you want to do that for sure and then over here we got a little tennis record that has sitting in there a pack of pencils some suede and nubok renovator <laughs> free tail action that's unused unused i think there's one pencil missing and then uh Hey, I have some nice stuff over here too, man. Aye. All right. I hate I hate not stripping that way. You think you give me a better price for it or what? You'll get a lot better price if you strip it. No, but I mean if at like eighty-eight that. percent, yeah, it's, it's about a lot better. Than number yes. one. So hey, thanks, man. And a piece of aluminum. Look at that. It's aluminum. Look at that. Yep. They go. They turn an aluminum oh, yeah. on us. Some of them do. Yes. I didn't clean that up. All right. All right. We'll need to clean it. Nah, man. Dirty's fine. So uh, I'll make sure I put this back in my rig. Someone snatches it up and <laughs> throws it in the pile. Alrighty. Get this. I don't think I've ever shown the front scale in this video. Well, once, almost, I guess. A little dirty brass. Hey, you don't mind if I have the camera, do you? I ain't wanted today. A pound of clean brass is dirty. Clean. Yep. Number one tube. Two pounds. So this number one copper is two ten. Number two copper is dollar ninety five. Fifteen cents. I'm keeping that brass umbrella deal. Right. Got hands. Two pound tear on clean aluminum. Kind, kind of clean aluminum. Let's get it work. I get that tote bag. Alright, that'd be it for him. How you want me to take it back there? Yeah. Is that the only one you need? Yeah, that's the only one I need. Okay. Thanks, man. I'm officially on the clock. Oh, yeah. Scrapyard pay, we think. Busy. Actually, I gotta say, stay open till one on Saturdays. I don't come down here on Saturdays too often. Yes, for a long run ramp for this gentleman. I got it. You want me to come inside? Yep, hold you off. Look how busy this place is. Why are you so busy? You get that, that weekend money? I guess. I might need that weekend. Sheesh, it's almost closing time. People just piling in here. So, $40.07, and seven cents. $49.07. That stuff I was talking about stripping and whatnot. It actually gave me a really good price. So if I would have stripped it, I would have got, what was it, $2.10 a pound. I did not strip it, and they give me this 88% category, $1.50 a pound. So uh, that's only 60 cents. It's still worth it to strip it, but a dollar fifty a pound is is not is uh, not a bad price whatsoever for unstripped wire. But uh, so that was twelve dollars, and then you can look at the rest of this if you want. Pause the video or whatever. 
run it down real quick. What do we got? Of course, the uh, copper, all the copper categories is where I made my money. Pound of brass at a dollar twenty. So let's see the different prices in the copper insulated. Dollar fifty for eighty-eight percent insulated copper. Dollar uh, ten a pound for number one insulated copper wire. That they call 65 percent and then uh, number two insulated copper wire that they call 50 percent is 65 cents a pound forty nine dollars not a bad little load it would have been uh, that's another that would have been like another four dollars maybe Let me know in the comments what you would have done with this. Would you have scrapped it? I think that's going to be a keeper. Gem. I wonder if that's for the taking. That's worth a pretty penny and scrap right there. It's busted. Look at that. We got zip ties on it. Oh, I bet that's for the taking. I hate to just walk off with it though. I am 99% sure. What do you think? What would you do? It doesn't get a whole lot better than that for scrap. So I was going to end the video. I was trying to get to some artwork, but there's a farmer's market going, so I had to swing out around that. So, this was going to be a little transition clip in my video, but <laughs> look at that. What do you think about that? Um, shoot. It's missing something, isn't it? I think that's still free tail where they some somebody will do something with that the free tail still that disappear quick I guess this is the outro of my video now a little Loch Ness monster action there's another one over here too a little art a little arty place look at this steel sculpture over here this is the one I was really after. I saw this years ago. Let's have a look. I'll make this my, this will be a transition in the video for you video makers out there. If you're interested in how to do some stuff like this. A little transition, what do you think? Gotta end the video sometime.
could just keep going all day, I suppose. I sure hope you enjoyed this little session. A little scrapyard run. As always, thanks for watching. I think that's an art gallery. Never noticed it. That was a tough one to figure out, huh? <laughs> Drove by it hundreds of times. Just finally figured out it's an art gallery.